Hello, how are you doing? It's Jim. It's Monday. It's another week. Time for another video. Time for another album. I have never, ever, 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 ever heard The Grateful Dead before. Um, and it's a band that I have known of all of my life and for one of those I don't know why I have literally never heard a single thing they've ever done as far as I'm aware um, so this popped up on probably I think it's on eBay um, so I uh, as is often the case I'm sort of doing a, a sort of I don't know Sunday evening, sort of scrolling through on the old phone, sort of looking at uh, uh, auctions that are coming to an end soon. Uh, this flicked up. It had about a minute to go, and it had very few bids on it. I think it was sort of like sort of four pounds, five pounds, something like that. And I sort of had a quick look at the uh, look at the um, details about it. The condition said it was is is all right, um, and. It was only going to cost about another two quid to have it delivered. So, you know, well, I'll, I'll, I'll put a punt on that. And it, I did. I won it. Uh, very, very inexpensively. So I really have no idea what to expect with this. Um, I, I genuinely do not know what this music is. I think they're a sort of a, I think they're a jam band. They do a lot of uh, sort of extended long jams. And I do get that side two of this is one song. It's the song Terrapin Station. So that bodes well, hopefully, as long as it's not all just sort of very sort of repetitious and uh, and dull and boring. But um, so I thought, if it's okay with you, we're going to introduce a brand new band to the channel. I don't think anybody's asked about this at all, um, and I don't think I would have done this had it not just been for that sort of fortuitous moment on eBay. And uh, I thought, well, why not? You know, I've heard of them. Why not? Um, and I have to say, I mean, I could easily have done this on Spotify, uh, just listen to it. But I thought, I there was nothing, nothing in my um, in my mind that was saying, telling me before this happened that I wanted to listen to Grateful Dead. Um, so um, it just, I saw it, and it it reminded me of a name of a band that I've known about all my life but didn't know. So I thought, I'm not going to try and listen to this on Spotify. I'm going to just save all of this for the channel. I have to say, that looks pretty, pretty clean and good. A little bit of um, hairline marks on the on the, on the one side. I don't know what side we're on here. That's side one. Side two. Uh, we're just, the only thing we can do is just put it on, see where it goes, hey? Let's do it. So, without any further ado, I keep popping in and out of focus. Uh, here we go. Three, two, one. The needles in the groove. I'm, I'm a fan already. This is awesome. Right, so we've got Estimated Profit, which this is, Dancing in the Streets, Passenger, Samson Delilah, and Sunrise. Really, really cool. It's a dub vibe. Just 
bass is so smooth. It's a real sort of... Um, Tilda does that. It's sort of a police vibe to it. Nineteen seventy-seven. This is. I'm digging this a lot. This is super cool. Amazingly good uh, recording and a very, very clean record. But I love this um, sort of beautifully warm 1970s recording sound, which is all over so many of these records that I've been listening to. It's just, it can't be. Um, they can't be replicated in in a sort of, in the digital age. Not that I've heard. Not not like this. This just sounds beautiful. Okay, I know this song. Not this version. When um, Mick Jagger and David Bowie did this, was it a cover of this song? Or was this a cover of another song as well? Did it tell us on here? Doesn't say. Ooh. 
How cool. Little bit of um, hand percussion, bongos going on. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Martha and the Vandellas, of course. I it had to be some sort of a Motown thing, didn't it? Of course it is. Idiot, man. Idiot. Oh, well. There we go. So, what do we have next? Passenger. They played two chords so far on this one. That's the that one and that one. It's quite a sort of Rolling Stonesy sort of vibe. Oh, there we go. Oh, I like that. Cracking record this is turning out to be. Really upbeat and fun. Huh, awesome. Right, that moves us swiftly on to Samson Delilah. Sit 
You can imagine this being um, used in the soundtrack of the Blues Brothers or something like that. Can you? It's got the same quality of production value and fun. Gospel sound, actually. band fit from a sort of genre point of view this feels sort of real sort of bluesy gospel um yeah some really bluesy even hear a, a little crackle or pop at all on this. I'm so chuffed with how clean this record sounds. those drums. Place is a James Bond theme. No one is it's almost like diamonds are forever. No one is alive. He plants the tree of life on our with water. Her voice has got a, a, a similar timbre, timbre, however you say that word, to um, Claire Torrey who sang um, The Great Gig in the Sky.
Well, I never did. I remember breezes from winds inside your body. Keep me high. Like I told you, I'll sing to them this story. Right, hold on. Hold on. We need to oh, stop that. We need to stop that. And I might as well stop that as well. Um so oh, Jim. I've slept on this for too long. I've I I I don't know what to say. Um, blimey, blimey, Governor, Grateful Dead. Who knew? Well, probably everybody apart from me. I'm absolutely staggered. This is just it's beautiful, wonderful. Um, it's, uh, just. Gorgeous, gorgeous music. Uh, I, I love this production. I love the production of this, the engineering, the sound of it. The, I I call it sort of almost like champagne, nineteen seventies, warm analog loveliness. Um, Pink Floyd were good at it. Um, Alan Parsons, who is obviously their engineer, his stuff sounds glorious. Um, Jerry Rafferty. So all these sort of beautiful, beautiful records have this same amazing sound to them, and this is the, this is exactly the same. And I was just looking on the back of it. It actually might have something to do with the fact of where it's recorded, because I hadn't realised that when I obviously picked this up. But I did was I was reading through it. Um, a lot of it was done at. Uh, additional recording so uh recorded and mixed at sound city uh, that's not what i thought okay no i was looking at air and at abbey road so i thought that's where it was but i think that's additional recording um but i think it probably is to do with the equipment that was used at the time the desks and the and the uh the hardware um uh sound processes the compressors the eqs the preamps all that stuff is just making this uh, most beautiful beautiful sound um it's so bluesy and soulful and and just I mean, it's, I I'm 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 smitten I really am and I I know this isn't isn't prog and it's not hard rock it's not metal it's not all sorts of stuff but it is something and I don't know what it is and I really like it I really like this um I'm going to have to turn the side over now and listen to side 2 uh, which is probably a bit more epic, seeing as it's one song stretching across a whole side. So, let's find out where this goes, shall we? I'll see you guys on the next video, whenever and whatever that is. I think you might be able to guess. And until then, this is Jim Over, and...